and a welcome back to Sports on Tap. We're live from Z's Cream and Bean and Hinkley. It's uh, our Greater Cleveland High School Hockey uh, League preview show and uh, coaches show. We also had uh, some of the Avon hockey players come up and sure did. I'll tell you what, a lot of these uh, coaches and, and players, I mean, they're great to talk to. Yep. This is a really a special league to be a part of. Um, you can go to neosportsinsiders.com as well um, for uh, the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League. Some, uh, If you're looking for stories or you're looking for recaps of uh, your game with pictures, uh, it, it'll be on neosportsinsiders.com. We're also going to do podcasts covering the league and uh, also get out to some games. Yep, we Let's, are. Uh, well, real quick, we, just to mention the guys by name more specifically, yeah. we had Danny Fielding, senior goalie from the Avon Eagles, Chris Reitman, sophomore defenseman, um, uh, also from Avon. And then uh, lastly, we had um, Jake Folds, a uh, senior defenseman uh, for Avon, w along with uh, Coach uh, Ryan Kotos. Yeah. Um, so very, very good to talk to them. And then obviously, uh, you know, Coach Gordy um, from the uh, from the Solon Comets and, uh, and, uh, and, and Ryan, the uh, man of all trades here. President. See, he's not, what is he, president? That's my director, CEO. He's not only a president, he's also a client. He is a member. <laughs> he's a member, too. Yeah, we'll, we'll thank uh, all the coaches. And, like, you thank the players very nicely. Uh, Avon uh, coach Kyle Botis for coming up. Brooklyn head coach Ryan Kelber. Solon head coach Gordy Hammond in his first season. I thought that was a great uh, interview to have him come on the air um, and, and talk to him a little bit. Um, and, 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 again, what a great league it is. Um, to, uh, to really talk about um, fr from the red, white, and blue divisions. Mm -hmm. um, they do a great job, like you said, keeping the teams, but then if, if a team maybe is struggling in one division, they drop them down. And it's just really a competitive yeah. league. They look at it every year, although, like Ryan said, you know, for two years we'll keep it with this and see what happens and, and then reevaluate. I think it, that's a great way to look at it. You know, it. And, and, and Gordy and Coach uh, Hammond even mentioned it. That that's the hardest part about running a league, I think, is is being able to predict the future. I mean, we, we see it all the time, especially in maybe the be the best place to kind of compare it to is collegiate sports uh, and the strength of schedule type thing. You know, obviously in the beginning of the year, every team looks good, every team looks great. But as the as the as the season plays out, those you know obviously the the tougher teams rise to the top, or the good teams rise up, and the low and not so good teams go to the bottom, and that's just the nature of the game. But I think Ryan and, and Joe Simon specifically, and, and that group of people that put together these leagues, really kind of maybe hit on something, and they say, okay, let's kind of keep some continuity a little bit over the next two years and establish some rivalries that may not have been there, either from a geographical standpoint or or a, or a participation standpoint. But now you're kind of seeing those teams meet up whether it's the off-season tournaments whether it's you know in, in these you know inner intra-league play tournaments in the, in the middle of the season um and it really kind of allows the league to get out there and, and not only benefit from the parity but also showcase a little bit you know especially with what we're doing and what neo sports insiders is doing you know getting them out saying hey it's not just you know the the the, the, the age olds it's Really good teams playing really good hockey. You know, any good any night you go to a game. Some games maybe a ten nothing blowout. Some games maybe one nothing with overtime. So you just never know. Yeah. The um. <clears throat> so this year to kind of go over the league structure, we'll, we'll go over that real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, there are thirty seven teams in the league this year. Uh, teams are organized into three leagues based upon skill level. So you have your blue league that has thirteen teams. That's divided into the Blue North, which has six teams, and the Blue South that has seven teams. And then the White and the Red each have 12 teams, each have six teams in their North and South divisions, uh, respectively. League play will determine the playoff standings. Uh, so if you uh, were to, to go to some of the various websites, uh, in order who makes the Baron Cup, uh, Baron Cup 3 represents the Blue Division, Baron Cup 2 represents the White Division, and Baron Cup 1 represents the Red Division. Uh, league points will determine the top eight teams, uh, regardless of division. Uh, the top eight teams will, for each division, will make Baron Cup, uh, the Baron Cup play, and then of course they'll go into the state playoffs, um, which is all just one division. Every hockey team yeah. plays each other, and, and, and that's how the state cha championships determined. Uh, but you know, for these purposes, and for really for what we're covering, 
you know, we're really <clears throat> focused more on the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League and, and, and the red, the white, and the blue division races. Uh, as, as they're all starting to get underway, you know, some teams, some of the leagues have, ha have a little bit more league play than others. I would say they're all about uh, maybe 40 to 50% complete with league play. A lot of holiday tournaments coming up. You know, so you'll see some of these teams taking a break from their league schedule and maybe playing some of the teams from other divisions or teams really just from other, from other areas um, before they jump back into divisional play and, 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 and getting into their qualification for the Baron Cup. Uh, so uh, it's, a very, very, uh, it, it's a very competitive season so far. Um, right now, if you're looking at the red division, the top team right now is Shaker Heights. They do have four wins and no losses, no ties in league play with eight points. Uh, Strongsville follows. Strongsville Mid will each have five points. Kenston, Solon, North Olmsted with four. Rocky River, Mentor in Cleveland Heights with two. And then Hudson, Kent, and Western Reserve each looking for their first points in red division play. Uh, so, you know, quick look at, uh, at, uh, quick look at that, at the red, red division there. If we quickly shift over. To the white division, Olmstead Falls and Orange are both 4-0 in league play. They both have eight points. Amherst Steel, six points. They are 3-1. Then you got the Bay Rockets, the Canfield Cardinals, Benedictine, ben, uh, Benedictine Bengals, uh, Notre Dame Cathedral Latin, the Lions. They all have four points. So right there you have seven teams that have at least four points in that very competitive white division. Uh, Parma, Chagrin Falls, and Avon are all be, would all be fighting for the eighth spot. They each have two points. Then Brexville, Broadview Heights, and Westlake uh, are each looking for their first point in league play. Last and certainly not least in the blue division so far, uh, Coach Brian Kelber's the Brooklyn Hurricanes, they are 5-0 and oh in league play. They have not lost a league game in the regular season since 2015-2016. Uh, so they are on fire right now. They have 10 points that's sitting on top of all blue division play. Avon Lake right behind them, leading the blue north with eight points at 4-0. Lakewood, Normandy, and Mayfield all have six points. Aurora, Garfield Heights, Twinsburg, uh, Cuyahoga Valley uh, Christian Academy is at four points. Then you got Nordonia O'Leary Catholic at two points. North Canton Hoover and Lindhurst Brush are all looking for first round uh, for their first points in league play. You know, so as you're looking at the spectrum here, as I said, not a whole lot of games are being played. I would say most most teams are about halfway through the conference schedule. You're going to start seeing more of a, of a disparity uh, in these points as we continue on through league play. Uh, you know, league play ends on on February 4th, and the Baron Cup starts right after it on uh, February 5th. So. Yeah, a lot, a lot of time left here yeah. in the in the league schedule yep. uh, for all these teams to make their marks. And one of the things that, if you look at the schedule for all three of these divisions, is there really is a concerted effort or a concerted push uh, to make the games, especially in January, really kind of a, a an all out push for the Baron Cup. Um, you know, a lot of games, especially in the blue division, we have a couple games this week. Uh, Coach Kelber mentioned a really, really interesting game on the 21st in Brooklyn where Brooklyn will take on Lakewood. Uh, that looks to be a pretty, actually, really good game. I believe it's Blue South uh, match up there uh, to see who, you know, to get some valuable points for a Lakewood team um, and for obviously for Brooklyn to just continue its winning ways. You know, that's definitely if you're out and, out and about and you're sick of the malls and you're in Brooklyn <laughs> and you want to watch some high school hockey, definitely head out there and, uh, and, and watch those two teams meet up. Definitely going to be a good hockey game there. Uh, you know, and again, I just really like the way this is set up because it really does create a situation where the month of January now kind of becomes the last stitch effort for teams like in Avon to kind of get hot and get into position. You know, they made, they had a disappointing beginning of the season, but they're not out of it. They're not by any stretch of the means they, or stretch of the word. They could be, you know, go on a tear there in January and really play themselves into Baron Cup, into the Baron Cup. And, and, and teams like, you know, Brooklyn are there and probably going to make the Baron Cup no matter what, what they do unless they have a, you know, completely fall off the cliff there. But it's fun to watch a team like that because it's, you know, they're playing so well and it's an exciting team to watch. But, you know, throughout the, these divisions, you just kind of really, again, I, I, I marvel at the, the parity. I marvel at the competitiveness that are in these divisions. And I can't 
really give enough credit to to Ryan Kelber and to Joe Simon and their team for really keeping their, you know, getting these teams right about as good as you can get it from a standpoint of you have to let them play, you know, obviously to, 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 to really do that. But I think you have something here where, you know, this is fun hockey. This is, this is definitely the majority of public schools hockey. And again, nothing taken away from the, the Catholic schools. But again, it's a big collection of teams and, and, and clubs out there that are, you know, really wanting to get their word out because this is a really fun sport to watch when you're there. It's a, lo it's a great live sport. It's a great, you know, and, and you know, one of the interesting things that uh, Coach Hammond mentioned was it's not as big hitting as it, as it once was. A lot of people have this thought in hockey that's just a bunch of brutes skating around and hit and run into each other. And as he mentioned, he's right. And the, the, the sport of hockey has become more of a skill sport in the last probably five, ten years where, you know, it used to be a guy as big as myself out there on the ice trying to hit everybody and everything. Now it's a guy, you do that and you put yourself out of position and you give up goals and, and, you're, and you're behind. So, you know, it's very interesting to watch, you know, the strategy of it. If you're a person who likes to watch strategy, especially in sports that require an entire team to move as one, and that's essentially what hockey is. You know, as much as everyone likes to watch football and soccer, I mean, hockey is a very delicate sport in the sense that you really have to make sure everyone's doing exactly what they're doing or what they're assigned is. And if one person doesn't do their job, the whole team falls down. You know, in other sports, you can kind of hide that with a great player or a great team or, or really, you know, a, a, a great effort. But in, especially in this particular sport, as I'm learning more and more about it, you know, if a winger doesn't make it the – the right pass you're, you're you've you've lost the possession and now you put yourself in a bad position that you could be scored upon so you it's know the same, it's the same thing with clearing out a puck i mean right. you know it's no if you watch soccer it's the same, it's it's very similar in that your defensemen they need to get you know especially not only for to, to clear the puck to get it out of the zone but also to create substitution opportunities right you know it, it, you have to think about that you know when you see these guy when you see some players just throw the puck down the ice there's a purpose for it. Right, yeah, it's, it's to clear yeah. the line. It's to be able to get fresh guys in, um, and, and there's a time and a place to do that. So you know, there, there's a lot more strategy to the game than what people than than, than what may be Absolutely, perceived. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we just talked to three great coaches here. Um, you know, we, we've talked to many coaches, uh, you know, from not only this league but also um, you know the you know the other league in town as well. We have some uh, friends of show from from yeah. those respective teams. Uh, so I mean, <clears throat> the skill level, the skill level in Northeast Ohio is is tremendous. Uh, between uh, the Greater Cleveland Ho uh, High, High School Hockey League and uh, the, the the Great Lakes Conference as well. Uh, just to <clears throat> quickly recap, last year's Barron Cup champions, uh, Barron Cup three last year was won by Kyle, uh, Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy. Barron Cup two was won by the Olmstead Falls Bulldogs, and then Barron Cup one is a repeat for the Shaker Heights Red Raiders. They are the two-time defending Baron Cup 1 champions. They're looking they will be looking for a three-peat in wow. Baron Cup 1 this year. This will be the first three-peat since 2009 to 2011 uh, with the preppers from university school. Uh, we're able to get we we'll, were able to turn that trick uh, in the uh, you know late 2000s early 2010s. Uh, Shaker Heights actually if you go back to the late 90s and early 2000s, they won four Baron Cup 1s in a row. Now, so uh, Shaker Heights is definitely a staple uh, in the red division, and especially when it comes to Baron Cup one play. Yeah, that's impressive. Anybody that can uh, win it that many times. And, and right now, Shaker Heights having a good year and Olmstead Falls. So can, uh -huh. they, can they come back and, and do it again? Again, 123 games left. Uh, Joe Simon uh, giving us all kind of numbers. And, and he said there are 79 total hockey teams in Ohio. Um, and 37 come from the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League, which make up 46% of the hockey or high school hockey in the state of Ohio. Can I ask, can I ask one question? Yeah, and I might have one answer. Did, I don't know. Did Joe provide you all the math on that, or did he, you do no. that off the top of your head? No, of course Joe gave me okay, the math. Okay, all right. I couldn't do math I'm just that saying, good. because I might have Ed check your math there, but if Joe <laughs> sent it to you, I think we're okay. Yeah, yeah trust, that's, that's pretty Joe impressive. Numbers. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to trust Joe. Okay, yeah, I mean, but, sure. yeah, 46% of all hockey teams in Ohio are playing in this league. That's, I mean. That's it, pretty impressive. It, 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 it can't be said enough what a great job Joe and, and Ryan and that team uh, in, in the executive team at the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League are doing. So, you know, 123 games left. We got to cover at least two of those. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
maybe more. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. All right, guys, any last thoughts uh, on the show? No, I'm excited to it talk a great more show. about hockey. Yeah, we're going to have some uh, we're going to actually have some hockey games to discuss here in the next uh, couple shows. Yep. Right leading up to the Baron Cup. It was a great show. Want to thank all the coaches and players that came on uh, our show tonight. Want to thank Z's Cream and Bean for always opening the door for us. Making them fantastic milkshakes. And I'm about to go get me one right I now. I, I don't know. That or a twist. I'm not sure yet. Well, uh, while Rob is doing that, we need to remind you once again, if you're interested in becoming a hockey official, you can log on to uh, usahockey.com. Uh, They're always looking for uh, officials. Even if you are in high school, you can start officiating, uh, officiating at a youth level. And then once you get a little older, then you can start making some big moolah by officiating the uh, <laughs> high school game. So once again, uh, there is an uh, upcoming Level 1 seminar December 30th at Winterhurst Ice Arena, 10 a.m. to 4.30. Uh, again, if you'd like more information or to register, click on usahockey.com. And as always, we are partnered with a great website, NEO Sports Insiders, who is also kind of help, uh, helping us and leading the charge and getting us some uh, getting hockey out there. And we're also partnered with a very special company, RRT Productions. If you're if you're a high school athlete looking to get showcase your skills, contact RRT Productions, and uh, they shoot, they edit, but you win. That's right. Look and at wow! Make sure all you these live. Give me and, a uh, freaking shirt, Rob. Make sure you check what I'm out. Say. Make, a, make sure you check out this show and many of our articles on www.sportsontappodcast.com. Shameless plugs. Nice. I'll tell you what. All these live reads are impressive. Yeah. Tell you what. Nice job, guys. Yeah. Merry Christmas to all and to all yeah. good night. Merry Christmas, everybody. I want to uh, thank everyone who listened to our show. An official congratulations to Josh Jeffy, who defeated the fantasy football champion. It's not over yet, is it? It's it's over. Ed Dick, it, our, our matchup is over. It's the first quarter over. and it's over. Right. Our matchup is over. Yeah. Unless I'm just waiting for the officials That's to say something happened to... Uh, Mark Ingram's touchdown, wave it off. Kenny Drake's touchdown, wave it off. You know, something. <laughs> something Even something. then he still beats you. Yeah, he probably does, but that's all right. No, uh, that's actually that's funny because all four of the people here were in the semifinals. That's right. The it was, it was, that's not rigged at all. Not at all. For the rest of the players in the league, that <laughs> nope. is not how it was <laughs> nope. supposed to happen. It doesn't that's matter. Right. We got their money. I mean, I, I limped in at a 7-7 seven, seven record, and look where I'm at now. <laughs> I, I went 7-6-1 and I and mean, got in. The opportunities are there, guys. The 12 and the opportunities two are there. Be the better. Be better. Unbelievable. Hey, I was better for 14. No, I'm saying everybody else. Rob, we're right. getting. We're, for Josh Jeffy, Sean W. had to come Rob Troutman. Thanks for listening. Have a Merry Christmas. We're Sports on Tap. See ya. Thanks for listening to Sports on Tap. Make sure you visit our website at www.sportsontappodcast.com. We'd also like to thank our partners, NEO Sports Insiders, bringing you the best in Northeast Ohio sports coverage. Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League, home of the Baron Cup. Z's Cream and Bean, make life sweet, eat ice cream at Z's. RRT Productions, we shoot, we edit, you win specializing in sports recruiting videos for all high school athletes.